Here's a knocking indeed. Knock, knock, knock. A man might be a porter at Hellgate. Only this place is too cold for hell. I'll devil porter it no further. Open. No, 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 no. Well, good morrow, friend. Come in, good sirs. McDuff and Banco, I pray you remember the porter. Thank you. Is thy master stirring? Who's there? Our knocking has awaked him. Here he comes. Good morrow, noble Macbeth. Banquo and good Macduff, you're welcome both. We travel down less speedily than you, having less cause for haste. Is the king stirring? Not yet. He did command me to call timely on him. I will bring you to him this way. I know this is a joyful trouble to you, but yet tis one. The labor we delight in knows no pain. This is the door. I'll make so bold to call him. As you will. Well, Macbeth, how goes the world? All hail, Macbeth. No more of that. I have forgot the weird sisters. Goes the king hence today? He does. He did appoint so. The night has been unruly. Where we lay, the chimneys were blown down, and as they say, lamentings heard in the air. The obscure bird clamored the live long night. Some say the earth was feverous and did shake. It was a rough night. My young remembrance cannot parallel a fellow to it. Oh, horror! 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 What's that? Come, no heart cannot conceive. No name. What is it? What's the matter? Confusion now hath made his masterpiece. Most sacrilegious murder hath broke up the Lord's anointed temple and stole thence the life of the building. What is it you say, the life? Mean you, His uh, Majesty? Approach the chamber. Do not bid me speak. See and then speak yourself. Our royal master's murder. Oh, no. murder! Away, away! Murder! Murder and treason awake! Quick, worthy prince, I'll help thee to thy saddle. Be thou not dainty of leave taking, but shift away to England. Quick, to horse. Will it not be said, good Banquo, that my so hasty going puts on me suspicion of the deed? Let it be said, so we may soon discover what plans may be afoot, and who hath done this bloody deed. The murderous shaft that shot is not yet lighted, and thy safest way is to avoid the aim. Therefore, away. If thou thinkest best. I do, for where thou art, there's daggers in men's smiles. To England, then. My separated fortune shall keep me there the safer. Fare thee well. Farewell, good Malcolm. And hail, Macbeth, thou that shalt be king. But if thou art, oh, I do greatly fear thou hast played most foully for it. weeks later in the Scottish hills, Macbeth, charging Malcolm with guilt in the murder, has proclaimed himself King of Scotland and been crowned. But in the royal fortress of Dunsinane, he lives and plots uneasily. To test the loyalty of his nobles, he has summoned them now, including Banquo and Macduff, to a feast. But as he awaits their arrival, Macbeth lays plans to kill Banquo, whose too great knowledge he has begun to fear. It must be done tonight. Are you ready, both? We are, my liege. We are ready. And will you do it? We are men, my liege. Aye, in the catalogue ye go for men. We are, too, whom the vile blows and buffets of the world have so incensed that we are reckless what we do to spite the world. Your spirit shines through you. Then listen. Thank for we summoned here to Dunsinane for a feast tonight. From this high parapet you can see in yonder valley the wood of Burnham, through which he must ride hither. There, strike him down. And leave no rubs nor botches. It shall be done, my lord. We shall perform what you command. And go. Farewell, my liege. Farewell, O king. Banquo, thy soul's flight, if it find heaven, must find it out tonight. My lord. Your wife. My husband. Why do you keep alone? Of sorriest fancies your companion's making. 
Things without all remedy should be without regard. What's done is done. We have scotched the snake, not killed it. Gentle, my lord. Sleek o'er your rugged looks. Be bright and jovial among your guests tonight. So shall I love. And so I pray be you. Aye, be thou jocund. Ere the bat hath flown his cloistered flight, there shall be done a deed of dreadful note. What's to be done? Be innocent of the knowledge, dearest Chuck, till thou applaud the deed. Come, sealing night, scarf up the tender eye of pitiful day. See the light thickens, and the crow makes wing to the rocky wood. Good things of day begin to droop and drowse, whilst night's black agents to their praise do rouse. Thou marvellest at my words, but hold thee still. Things bad begun make strong themselves by ill. The day grows dark, but thankful. Aye, Macduff. We'll be there anon. Now! Have him! Strike him down! Is he? I have him! I hear the throat! Stab him! Macduff! Stay ah. here! Let him go! Oh. Free him, thou villain! Let, Let him go! Help! Take their horses! Come right! Oh. Oh. Macduff! I have thee, Ben. Murder! Fly, Macduff! To Prince Malcolm! Who did this deed? I am slain. Whose cutthroats were they? Macbeth's. What? Oh. This bloody deed I shall make known to others. Then to England. Are they all here? Husband, Macduff comes not. Wherefore? He hath sent word, not I, he says. Dares he deny his person at our bidding? Know you not why? Now again I am cabin, cribbed, confined, bound into doubts and fears. Are all the others come? All except Banquo. Then let us in. Dear love, praise Banquo. Let your remembrance present him eminence both with eye and tongue. Come. Close royal, sir. All a hearty welcome. You know your own degrees. Sit down. Be large in mirth. Anon, we'll drink a measure the table round. Aye, Your Majesty. Here had we now our countries on a roof were the graced person of our banquo present. Whom may I rather challenge for unkindness than pity for mischance? His absence, sir, lays blame upon his promise. Please, Your Highness, to grace us with your royal company. Why, the... The table's full. Here is a place reserved, sir. Where? Hear me, good lord. Oh, hey, Macbeth. Banquo! Which of you have done this? What, good sir? What is it, husband? Here is a place reserved. Prithee be seated. Oh, hey, that shall be king. Thou canst not say I did it! Ever shake my gory locks at me! Oh, hey, noble sir. sir. Gentlemen, please, his highness is not well. Sit worthy friends. My lord is often thus and hath been from his youth. Pray you keep seat. The fit is momentary. If much you note him, you shall offend him and extend his passion. Feed and regard him not. Just My lord, a word with you. Are you a man? I am a bold one that dare look on that which might appall the devil. Oh, brother stuff. This is the very painting of your fear. This is the air-drawn dagger which you said led you to Duncan. All oh, these flaws and starts, impostors of true fear, would well become a woman's story at a winter's fire authorized by her granddam. Shame itself. Why do you make such faces? When all's done, you look but on a stool. If I stand here, I saw him. Banquo's spirit. Fly for shame. Blood has been shed ere now in the olden time. I and since too. Murders have been performed too terrible for the year. The time has been that when the brains were out, the man would die and there an end. But now they rise again with twenty mortal murders on their crowns. 
to push us from our stools and raise rebellion. This is more strange than such a murder is. My worthy lord, your noble friends do lack you. I do forget. Do not... Do not muse at me, my most worthy friends. I have a strange infirmity which is nothing to those that know me. Come, love and health to all. I know. Give me some wine. Fill full. I drink to the general joy of the whole table. 